Hey gang, this is Lila here at the Comic Connection with this week's comic book reviews. First up, we've got Batman Death Mask number 104. This is from DC, uh, their CMX line. The story and art is by Yoshinori Natsume. Hopefully I said that right. Um, anyways, so in the manga style, this reads uh, in the opposite direction than you're used to, and it's also black and white. But don't let that scare you away. Uh, this is actually a really good book. Uh, basically, it's a story of how Bruce, at a business meeting, his memory is sparked by the appearance of a woman that he feels like he knows from somewhere, possibly his past in Japan. Meanwhile, at the same time, Batman is trying to track down a gruesome killer who slices people's faces off, and it may be this person might have a connection to his past as well. This is a really good read. I enjoyed the art, even though it was in black and white. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is sort of the way that uh, Bruce is drawn, but other than that, it was a really good read and I liked the art, so pick it up. Uh, it's definitely worth your while if you like Batman. Next, we've got George R. R. Martin's Wild Cards. This is number one of six. This is from Dable Brothers. Uh, it's written by Daniel Abraham and the art's by Eric Battle. Um, basically, the backdrop of this story, it's based off um, a novel, which I'm sure many of you fans will be familiar with. Basically, over 60 years ago, the Earth was hit with some sort of alien virus that sort of killed 90% of New York City, mutated 9%, and gave a small 1% superpowers. But not everybody with superhero powers is a hero, and not everybody who is a mutant is a bad person. Uh, it's a very interesting read, very futuristic, um, gets to the way that people really treat each other. Uh, I like the art and I like the story, so pick this one up. It was a very good read. And last we have Aliens vs. Predator. This is Volume 2, Civilized Beasts. This is from Dark Horse, written by Mike Kennedy, and art by Roger Robinson. Uh, basically, this will seem very familiar to any of your Aliens Predators fans. Humans try to colonize a new planet. They're stranded with aliens there, which is a bad situation. They have predators that seem to want to help them, but maybe they have more something more sinister in mind. All this sounds pretty familiar and basically equal for me, not very interesting. I didn't really like the art, and the story all felt like it had been done before. So if you're an Aliens Predator fan, you might enjoy it. I'm a fan, and I didn't really, but pick it up and decide for yourself. Hey folks, Jim here with uh, this week's comic book reviews. First up, Serenity number 2. In this issue, Mal and crew hit a vacation spot and tell their fantasies to each other, but are soon followed by a man out for Mal. A really good issue. I'm actually starting to really like where this series is going, so hopefully the final issue is even better. <laughs> Next up, Gold Digger, Dreadwing's Miramar, number one. In this issue, Dreadwing tells of his rise and fall and plots his vengeance on Gina Diggers. Uh, another really good Gold Digger special. Uh, if you're into Gold Digger, you need to read this book because it tells you everything you need to know about Dreadwing and his plots. Next up, Prince of Heroes, number three, by Rada Spinoza. In this issue, Ronan is forced to abandon his friends as his family leaves the planet. This is the finale of this first arc of Prince of Heroes, and as always, gorgeous art, great story. You have to pick this book up. Who out there? Pick it up, people, please. Next up, Gold Digger, number 94. In this issue, Gina is lost in quasi-space, but that's the least of the group's problems, as Zero shows up. Um, another great written issue by Fred Perry. Really good art, really good story. If you're not reading Gold Digger, pick it up. It's almost over. And last but not least, the Soleil Sampler from Marvel. In this, it has samples of Skydoll, Universal War One, Samurai, and Scourge of the Gods. For me, I'm looking forward to Skydoll. I love Barbary's art. Uh, so, Pick it up. It's free.